COVID-19 is officially a pandemic and even with all the warning we had, the travel bans and the isolation, we now have uncontrolled spread of the virus in the Australian community. I was critical of the partial travel ban. I think an all or nothing ban could have been justified much more easily, but I do have to admit that it might have bought us some time. And I can only hope that that time has been used wisely to prepare our hospital systems because we are now on the same path as some countries that have been very badly hit. And we need to change our habits now to change our course. That doesn't just mean washing our hands, although it does mean washing our hands, but we also need to practice social distancing. At last, social distancing has been officially recommended, but only for large non-essential gatherings. We need to be doing more. Now is the time to be staying at home if it is at all reasonable. Uh, because if we half ask this, we're going to have economic pain for very little um, gain in terms of infection control. Remember that if we do just enough to contain the spread of the virus, it is going to look and feel to us as though we have overreacted. These directives, of course, should be coming straight from the top, but our government's dragging its heels. So it's once again up to our amazing communities to pick up the slack. Work from home if you can. Now's the time to exercise that privilege if you have it. Uh, if you can stay off peak hour trains, um, you'll be protecting people who can't, including healthcare workers. Of course, this is going to be a huge hit to small businesses and the arts sector. Um, a stimulus package has been announced, but it's weeks away and it's not nearly enough. People are losing their jobs now. People are choosing right now between self-isolating and working shifts at their surface, service jobs, coming into contact with lots of people uh, so that they can pay their rent and bills. Our government has to completely cover lost income for anyone um, who is in a precarious position. Now, this is not just a nice thing we do in a time of crisis. This is how we limit the spread of the virus. If you think you have symptoms of COVID-19, please call the national hotline on 1800 020 080. And if you're well, call your family and friends who are older or who have compromised immune systems. See how they're going, offer to run some errands for them so they can avoid crowds. Um, please don't panic, but also please do take this seriously. Now is the time for us to look after ourselves and each other.